you can easily find the fourth J150 Land Cruiser Prado on the secondary market, and it will get cheaper very slowly. Why would it, we thought, and decided to figure it out, but is it worth overpaying for it when buying? Land Cruiser Prado 2, J90, 1996, 3, and 5 door received independent front suspension instead of an axle. It was equipped with a gasoline for 2.7, 150 horsepower, V6 3.4 up to 185 forces and diesel engines 2.8 and 3.0 liters up to 140 horsepower. Land Cruiser Prado 3, J120, 2002, received a new chassis. Appeared adaptive shock absorbers and rear air suspension. New engines, 2.7, 163 horsepower, 4.0 V6, 249 horsepower, and a more powerful diesel, 170 horsepower. Many will be surprised, but even the Land Cruiser Prado J150 sometimes goes to the service. The off-roader bears the banner with honor, proudly raised by its indestructible predecessor J120. Having cured, moreover, a number of his congenital diseases. Owners of a Toyota SUV, which is considered a pretty tasty morsel without chronic and systemic problems, are poorly aware of what an unexpected and complete failure is. However, the margin of safety of a frame SUV is also not unlimited. You will have to choose from three motors, but the choice will be complicated by the fact that there are no obvious outsiders among them. The 3.0-liter 173-horsepower diesel is more likely to be looked after more often because of the need to compensate for the costs associated with bad fuel with prevention. Yes, it's a little expensive, a nozzle is 20,000 rubles, but there's nowhere to go, you have a very prestigious car. In addition, saving on a repair kit for a turbine is humiliating. Or do you want to buy a new one? Life is a little more measured with the 4.0-liter naturally aspirated V6 1GR FE with 283 horsepower. True, this one will be more pestering not with breakdowns, but with defined checks at gas stations and high transport taxes. And the last option remains, it is also the optimal one. Its gasoline 2.7-liter 163 horsepower counterpart 2TR FE. In terms of reliability, it is not worse, but in operation it is still more budgetary. Possible replacement of the piston, problems with the head gasket, failure of the mounted electrics or, especially, pumps, do not let them scare you. Anything can happen, but there is no system here, maybe it will blow over. However, you should be ready to eliminate the radiator leak and replace the pump already at 150,000 kilometers. The statistics are relentless. All boxes are reliable, and the clutch runs for a long time, up to 200,000 kilometers. But the rare five-speed mechanics are best avoided, they were willingly used by ruthless off-road lovers. Fewer contraindications for a four-speed automatic transmission is also a rarity, but the somewhat twitchy algorithm of its operation suits, to put it mildly, not everyone. The rest is a five-speed automatic. Bingo! With timely maintenance, it lives for a long time and if it dies, then gradually. Do not believe that there are almost no suspension replacements. It happens, and how? In consumables, enough for a year, front stabilizer bushings. After 50,000 kilometers, shock absorbers may cry. But if you are a city dweller, the best choice is air suspension. Comfortable and relatively durable, although replacing the air spring, 20,000 rubles a piece, is not a pleasant execution for the wallet. Only the front pads speak negatively. For sharp and daring guys, they are shy for 10,000 kilometers or faster, and cost 3,500 rubles each. Per set. Brake discs, fortunately, lose weight is not so fast. As soon as they do not frequent the salon of our groom on the forms. Like, and he creaks, and the finish, as they say, leaves much to be desired for the money. The plastic is scratchy. Fair. It clearly does not pull on a premium SUV. Crickets, especially in the seats do not allow, and the leather upholstery is wiped quickly, it dries, have time to moisturize. The essence of the matter, however, all these cavils do not change. The Prado is one of the few old-school frames on the market that is highly maintainable with a fair amount of reliability potential. From that and the demand, which gives rise to an enviable profitability during resale. Well, that the service is not cheap. Well, that's what the handy Uncle Vashia is in the garage for. Transmission. Problems are delivered by the dispenser actuator. 
it fails when the differential lock is connected too often in order to storm obviously hopeless steeps. In purely urban cars, this problem did not become widespread. By the way, Prado oil seals use durable ones. Everywhere except the gearbox. At the 100,000th run, a leak is often observed precisely from under this seal. The price of the issue, however, is not too high. Engine. In cold weather, the 2.7 diesel engine at idle. This is normal, warming up eliminates unpleasant sounds. In the timing drive, a chain with a fair resource, the valves are adjusted every 200,000 kilometers with washers. For 4.0 engines, EGR valves often fail, 10,000 rubles. The diesel engine also has its own whim. With a long movement at high speed, it can lose traction. And if flashing the brains helps, then so far everything is fine. Suspension. The bushings of the front stabilizer go no more than 50,000 kilometers, the rear, up to 70,000 kilometers. The cost of the bushings themselves is not high, within 500 rubles, however, the replacement work is an order of magnitude more expensive. Front wheel bearings sometimes begin to sing at 60,000 kilometers. Officials offer modified bearings with a higher resource. The front shock absorbers are leaking before even 60,000 kilometers. And yes, Numa is good only for the city. Body. LCP is surprisingly weak. It happened that the owners of even very fresh cars found out about this when the paint peeled off or a lot of chips appeared. But the resistance of the metal to the redhead is fair. Chips rust reluctantly. Chrome, grill, and the lining of the fifth door, also not a long liver. Attention, for machines from the Middle East, due to the lack of additional anti-corrosion treatment, there is a high risk of damage to the frame number. Electrician. In winter, with the appearance of condensate, on 4.0 engines, the valve for supplying secondary air to the exhaust manifold is buggy. Symptoms of a malfunction are usually burning control lights and missing traction. The common misfortune of Prado with air suspension, after 100,000 kilometers, the body position sensors fail together, about 20,000 rubles. The body lifts up to the highest position. Sensors change, 